Hello everybody, it's Independence Day, July 4th, and I'm down here in Slocum, Alabama, checking on a couple of things real quick, but I thought I'd do a quick video. If you'll remember, two and a half weeks ago, we were down here pulling honey. I'll put a link to that video in the description below and also at the end of this video. We came across a colony that was honey bound. It's this colony right here. So today what I want to do is go through that colony and show you how they're doing, but before we do that, let's watch that original clip right here. Right here we have a classic <laughs> example of a hive that is basically honey bound. Uh, the bees had basically abandoned a lot of the honey out above. There was a queen excluder and a couple of supers, at least one super. We took the super honey off and when I started going through it, I found we got honey, we got a little pollen in the bottom. And I think for three or four frames in, that's what we found. This one right here is, is near the center. If you look at this, it's nothing but pollen and honey. And then this frame actually right here has a little bit of space right here where she's laying some eggs. But even here you got honey, pollen. So she has a little bit of room to lay, but just not enough. So we're gonna take a couple frames of honey out of here and put some empty frames in here. She's got a little room to lay right there, but see still pollen and honey everywhere. Little patch of uh, an area to lay right there. A lot of pollen. So this is just a situation where these bees need some room for that queen to lay. Got some brood on this frame, I think. This is a little better. So it's got a little room to lay, but man, just getting kind of clogged up in here. So I'm gonna remove at least one frame of honey from each side, maybe. We'll see what this side looks like right here. I don't think this is too bad. Yeah, that's honey right there. We're gonna take a frame of honey from each side. Two frames of uh, empty comb in here. We got some comb here in the bee yard. And uh, we'll go harvest this honey here. I'll shake the bee. I should have shaken, I'm, that was a mistake. I should have shaken them off in the hive. Hoping the queen wasn't on there, but it's mostly honey, so probably not. We'll look around and make sure she's not roaming around down there. And then we're gonna put two frames. Did okay. you put that right there? Yeah. Actually, let me put it in the middle. I'm gonna put the frames in the middle so she can just kind of start laying in the middle. We'll put them right here. Maybe that'll help fix that situation. We just happen to have these frames over there in the bee yard, so that made it nice. And then we're actually gonna put a medium on here if we can find a medium that doesn't have, you know, we're not gonna harvest. We'll put it on here, give her even some more room and just let it ride. So harvest and honey, ran into that situation. We were able to fix it right now. So now that you've seen that original clip, let's go into this colony right here and see how they're doing two and a half weeks later. I actually came out here um, Friday, today's Tuesday, uh, so about, what, four or five days ago, and peeked in on them, so I have a little bit of an idea of how they're doing. And I, I came through here and found the queen and marked her. She was a beautiful uh, young queen, and uh, actually took a frame or two of brood out of here for a split I did, so. So the hive is already looking weaker than it did when I was here on Friday, but let's just see how they're looking today. So one of the outer frames, you can see the uh, beautiful pollen in there, the bees, the bees are pretty calm. Now, if you remember, we had, in that clip, we had honey for about four or five frames in, honey and food. Had a little bit of brood over in this area right here, but really not enough for her to continue to lay and, and maintain a strong colony. Look at that frame of brood right there. This was the one, two, three, I think the fourth frame in. Look at this, look at these calm bees and look at that nice brood right there. This may have been a frame that had some brood on it when we were looking in here that day. I think we had some patches about like this that had eggs in them and now it's a mature brood that's gonna probably emerge here very soon. This is probably a frame I'm guessing I put in here uh, when I made the split the other day. And I'm looking to see if I can see eggs in here. They don't see any right now. It looks like they're kind of utilizing this or putting a little nectar in here. There's a little bit of a flow going, which surprises me. I thought we were done with our flows, but look at how calm these bees are. They're just doing wonderful. Super calm. They're drawing this out a little bit. We have brood right here where it's drawn out enough to have brood. She's laid in. Same thing on this side. Okay, you probably can't see this because it's so hard to see on the camera, but there are eggs in this area right here. So we know the queen is healthy and uh, she's laying. Looks like a bunch of brood has recently emerged right here probably. When I pulled this thing open on Friday, man, there was brood everywhere. 
just sheets of brood. Probably should have videotaped some of them, but it was so hot that day and I just was trying to get some work done. Look at that frame of brood right there, y'all. I mean, you think she needed a place to lay? I think she did. This was probably a frame we put in here that day we harvested, I'm not sure, but man, look at how they're doing. There's a big old fat drone right there. So these bees are calm. Look at that other side, just a sheet of brood. So my goodness, what a beautiful hive of bees right now. And they would have possibly been in trouble had we not provided them with somewhere to lay. I'm seeing very young larvae with some eggs over here. So uh, hive is thriving right now, doing extremely well. This over here is some mature brood and then in here we've got eggs, larva, all kinds of stuff. So, ooh, that frame is really heavy. Got larva through here, but look at all this honey right here. That frame feels like it's full of honey, but it's not because we got larva all up in there. Honey on that side. Where is that queen at, man? So as you can see, looks like our strategy worked. You know, we ended up with a nice, healthy high colony here and I think they were about to be in trouble. What can happen anywhere, but you know, especially here in the south with the issues we have with hive beetles is, you know, during a flow, a nice strong colony can get honey bound, as you saw in the first part of the video, with very little place for the queen to lay. And then that's when those hive beetles can take over. They can become, they're, because they're opportunist, as the population of bees goes down because the queen has nowhere to lay, then the hive beetles can take over also, you know, as the population goes down, you can have a higher concentration of mites uh, per you know, 100 bees or whatever can also incre increase the probability of diseases and so forth. And so it's important if you can to stay on top of your hives and to keep them unplugged. Don't let that bottom box get plugged out too bad. Man, I'm just real excited about this colony. Man, they're just so calm and nice. Seem to be wonderful bees. I'm trying to find that queen. I'm surprised I didn't see her before now. She has a big red dot on her now. Maybe I just missed her. Some of them are really good at hiding, man. She has just filled this thing up. Just gave her that room and she took advantage of it, man. Wow. Another important thing to remember about beekeeping, if, you, if you're just doing a hive inspection, especially if you're wanting to be efficient, you don't have to find the queen every time. If you see eggs, young larvae, you know there's evidence over there, that's really all you need to see. Um, I took you on a thorough inspection this time just to see if we could uh, see how they're doing. And so you've seen more than I would normally do. Normally I would just check quickly, make sure I had eggs look for the overall health of the colony and close it up. But today I wanted to sh go through a kind of a deep dive here and show you really how they're doing and I'm trying to go through them one more time. If I don't see her this time through, we're just gonna close her up and call a day. What do y'all think about this hive of bees? If, if you saw that clip at the beginning, saw how they were getting honey bound, man, you think we did the right thing? I think we did. Y'all can, I'd love to see your comments in the comment section below. She has done a great job of hiding from me. If you want to get your frames kind of moved apart or separated, sometimes they'll kind of close together. You can just stick your hive tool down in here like this, vertical, and just push on them. That can push the frames apart and create more space for you to put your frames in. Check this frame one last time. I just simply don't see her. She is shy today, but that's okay. The bees are all fanning and running this way, so that queen's down in there somewhere. They seem excited right now about something. See them all kind of coming this way and they're fanning, but I think we've been in them long enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to that original harvesting video where we shot that original clip. That was a great day. If you haven't had a chance to see it, I think you'll enjoy it, uh, how we harvest our honey. Had some great folks come down, some viewers and folks uh, friends of the family, friends of the channel, a part of the community. And uh, so it was a good time. So I'll put that link right here and I appreciate y'all watching and uh, y'all take care and we'll catch you on the next one.